Today, I bought the LEGO Star Wars BD-1. Hello everyone, it is Ivory Public Studs, and today we are going to be taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars at 75335 BD-1 from Jedi Fallen Order, coming out at $100 August 1st, 2022 with 1,062 pieces and one minifigure. Now, if you guys want to buy this set, I will be leaving an Amazon affiliate link below. And with that said, remember to hit that subscribe button and let's get right on into it. So first up, we have a look at the box art. Uh, so there is BD-1. He is on some sort of uh, platform, I guess, in the game Fallen Order. You have a look at all the details, obviously 14 and upset, which is a really high bar for a set like this. You have Jedi Fallen Order logo in the corner, which is quite interesting. It's not Jedi survivor it's not a minifigure so that doesn't like hint at a potential Cal Kestis or anything and we have BD Wen of course in the corner as a minifigure now the back is also great you get a look at the feet figure or the you know character you get all the features in the back and you have a great look overall just at this pretty amazing looking set and then of course BD one now here is a look at the instruction manual. It's again these crummy manuals that they say get excited about because you know I, I don't know who's excited about them. You get your piece counts, which is obviously very nice. You get your advertisements here, and of course the little signature figure at the corner is a BD1 droid. With that said, we are going to get into a hyperlapse. If you want to skip across that, I'll have a timestamp down below so you can see me take a look at the minifigure. And here is a look at BD-1, the iconic droid from Fallen Order. Now, he's very simplistic. He does have lots of little printing around there that just generally captures him. This is exclusive to this set at the time, uh, but it is still a really neat minifigure, and I like it a lot. Now, technically, this does not qualify as a UCS set, as it does not have any of the proper marketing or such, but it does come with a plaque, which is quite interesting. I really found the rating for this set particularly interesting, and yeah. So, you do have the details here, like the manufacturer, the model, the height, the primary functions, and the equipment he comes with, obviously not all included in this set, other than the stim canisters, which we will show you in a bit. You also have a great depiction of the set right there. Now, with that said, let's take a look at the build. Now, quite honestly, this may go down as the most adorable Star Wars build we have ever gotten, and that includes Baby Yoda over back there. And I will be showing him alongside a handful of the other miniature characters just so you get a size comparison, but he is, I believe, about an inch short of actually being size accurate to the actual, you know, droid himself with a whopping 31 centimeters or 12 and a half inches, which is not, again, very far off from the real thing. Starting off, the feet are just really well done. You get some nice wiring. You see the Technic pieces, which don't stick out like a sore thumb too much, just because, you know, that's kind of how he's built. As for the sides of the legs, you get a lot of nice greebling. It looks actually really, really clean. I think they did a really good job with it, uh, and it's the same on both sides, but where you really start to get to the details is the head. 
And don't worry, I'm going to explain the chicken leg posability in a bit. So here is the head. You do, of course, get the two little eyes. You can twist the head from side to side. And basically, it is just a very nice design. Now, if you turn it around, you do get some of this little buttons or whatever you would call this on the back of them. I like the color variation between the dark blue and the light blue. I think they did a really good job on it. And I do like that you are actually able to twist the little antennas. So if you want to have them go forward, if you want to have them go back, it kind of makes them look like a bunny rabbit of sorts, which is adorable. And of course you can twist the head, which is probably the most adorable thing. It's like, well, he, he looks like a little puppy. He's so cute. Uh, and I love the way they did the eyes. And of course the main detail is this thing, but it was also the main problem here. So as you just saw, all I have to do is push this up and you know you move the head around and it falls right out now i don't know if i built something wrong but that seems like it would have been caught in production i have no clue why it is having this particular problem i have tried a lot of things to see if it would fix and just nothing is really stopping it properly with that said i would still want to take a look at the little stim packs so ideally the way this would work is you'd take this out and you would take out said stim packs here they are and basically they're really cool you just i guess if this is your finger you just kind of inject them into there and this is basically what keeps Cal Kestis' health up. You could load him back up and there is BD-1. Now I find the current way the legs are positioned is probably the most ideal if you want to capture what he looks like in the game. But you can also do this, you do a very straight on head forward type of look. I think it captures the character still pretty well. Uh, or if you really want, you can make him go all the way inverted uh, and you can make him do this weird little chicken pose. Uh, I don't, I think it kind of looks a little weird. Or you could go all out, you could just do kind of this, and it gets also the general feel. It's really not nothing crazy. I think probably the most outlandish looking one is just when you have him standing straight, because he's never that fully straight. Uh, and I do like that you can like have some, like, like if you want him to stand sideways, you can do that. And I think it looks actually pretty darn good. And then you can, of course, adjust the head. You have it all the way up there. You have it look a little this way, which I think is, you know, my favorite. But you'd also have them look straight on or down even. Uh, and I think it really captures a lot of the same feel. You could have him look really down if he's trying to inspect something on the ground like his little minifigure right there. Wait, he's looking at him. That's so cute. I love that. Oh, that's great. Now, here's a look with BD-1 and his pals. They all look very nice in scale. You know, you have, you know, you have the Porg over here. You have uh, Baby Yoda. And then, of course, you have him. He is pretty dominating, especially over Baby Yoda in particular, who's not, like, the craziest thing. He's still for sale, obviously, but, but he's still pretty cute. Oh, they just, I think they did a really good job with him. He it fits in with all the adorable characters. I'd say you have R2-D2 back there, uh, but I didn't want to take him out of his case. So this is what you get. So here are my final thoughts on this guy. Now, right off the bat, $100 isn't what it used to be, obviously. You're looking at this thing, you're like, no way, that's not $100. Well, it is. It is a tough sell, I will admit. I think it's a little bit steep for the price. I think if it goes down to like 680 even 75 I think it will be an amazing deal. But at 100 it's a little bit steep. Uh, and I get why it's steep. I think it's even kind of worth the price because it's just such an adorable set. It's a great shelf model. And while it's not a particularly iconic like a lot of other things would be, like say a Baby Yoda, a Yoda, or a BB-8, or R2-D2 even, it is still amazing and I cannot wait to have this alongside lots of my other characters. It's pretty in scale with a lot of them and it is very close to being actual like scale with like humans. And like in the game, like there he is, like look at me, I'm Cal Kestis, yippee, uh, and here is BD-1, it is great, oh he is like just so adorable, I am so happy to finally have him on my shelf, and he is just a great model, I'd strongly recommend it, I will leave an Amazon affiliate link down below, if I had to give it a rating, I'd honestly give it a 9 out of 10, actually you know what? Screw that. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It's a great set. It's a well-rounded set. I strongly recommend if you're a fan of the game, get it. The price, again, is a little hard to get by. This is just a new way that pricing works, unfortunately. I wouldn't be shocked if it goes down in price in the near future. It's truly amazing and adorable. With that said, I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out. Stay awesome. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe you guys were just about to click off this video without liking it. What's the deal? Why, why do you do that? Don't, don't do that. Click that like button. I'm still waiting. Okay, you can go now.